On the 8th of this month, I purchased the new OnePlus 6 mobile phone to become my new main network field testing device. And in this video, I will explain why I picked the OnePlus 6 when there's a whole multitude of other flagship mobile devices out there with headline grabbing network specifications. However, in order to justify this choice, I will first have to explain the limitations imposed by the network testing requirements that I have. The main application that I use for doing my testing is called Network Signal Guru. And if you've watched any of my mobile network videos over the past year, chances are you've probably seen Network Signal Guru or a screenshot of it in some form because I just use it for so much. And it has, it's just incredibly useful since it shows you the basics as well as really nitty gritty complicated things like SIBs and various other parameters alongside things like resource blocks and it, it is just an incredibly useful application for doing network field testing. However, it has certain requirements in order to run. So it needs a Qualcomm modem for a start and it requires root in order to gain access to the information which it tells you. These two factors combined with wanting a high-end modem in order to test the technologies that are deployed on UK and foreign networks such as 4x4 MIMO and 256 QAM as well as support for a wide range of bands leads to an incredibly limited range of suitable devices really. Samsung flagships in Europe, for example, use Exynos modems, so they are no good for this. Huawei devices use their own Huawei modems. And so you can see very quickly the number of flagships is rapidly decreasing that will run Network Signal Guru. And so actually, the main device is that people who do this kind of network surveying and use the kind of tools that I use typically have Sony Xperia devices, so XZ Premium, XZ1, and so on. However, these come with a lot of complexity with regards to network testing throughout the whole process of things that I've described. So first things first, routing them. Many Sony devices sold on the UK market come with a locked bootloader and that includes mine. And with the best friend in the world, it is not at this current point, as far as I'm aware, possible to root it. So that means that in order to get one of these for network testing, you have got to find one with an unlockable bootloader, which either means getting a lot of sellers to test the, to get into this menu and check the bootloader status, or really try an error. And that's not ideal really. And then once you've got one which is bootloader unlockable, you then have to root it. And they're not the easiest devices to root, especially in cases where DRM keys are used for certain device functions, especially the cameras on some of these Sony devices. So that's already potentially quite a lot of hassle and complexity in order to just get Network Signal Guru running on them for a start. But then, with the modems and the sort of supported network capabilities of the Sony devices are dependent on the ROM installed on the phone. So for me to get the full Vodafone network feature set on the modem, I essentially have to have the Vodafone ROM on it. Now, you can probably see how this gets quite annoying when you are testing multiple networks because you have to flash the device a lot. So if one week I'm testing Vodafone, flash it to Vodafone, then EE flash it to EE for example. However, when flashing it, at least the way I do it, you lose all the information on the phone. So that's not ideal as far as using a daily driver, although there are ways around that, so there are backup utilities and stuff. But again, it, it's just hassle really and the OnePlus 6 doesn't have 
tons of ROMs that you need to flash in order to get the network features for your carrier. And actually on the subject of network features and capabilities, Volti support. Again, with the XA Premium, you need to have the right ROM by and large to get Volti for your operator. Whereas the OnePlus 6 supports at this current time EE and O2 natively and with root also three. So that's three out of four networks in the UK, which is pretty good. The OnePlus 6 is also dual SIM, which admittedly some of the Sony phones that I use for testing are. However, dual SIM ROMs for the operators that I want to test aren't really available so far. So then you get the suboptimal modem configuration for the UK operators, which is not ideal. And also, for that matter, just the UK market phones generally are not dual SIM with the, in the case of the Sony's. So I've described what made me rule out lots of different devices, but what made me rule in the OnePlus 6. So to start off with, it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon modem, which is X20. It's 44x4 MIMO, it is 256 QAM, and it has great band support. The device is also routable, and it's very easy to route it. I did it very quickly uh, without having routed the device in actually quite a long period of time, and Network Signal Guru works great on it. It's really easy to switch between testing on the different SIM cards just by pressing to bring the menu up here and then selecting which SIM you want to use and then just by doing the Android pull down menu you can select which SIM card is used for data. Then there's the matter of not having to faff about with tons of different ROMs that three operators as I said before have Volti supported pretty much out of the box. The device is dual SIM as well which is really good. So it really was a very, very compelling package. An additional benefit is with very modern Android, which of course lots of phones have. Apps like CellMapper have band reading on 2G, 3G and 4G, and it supports dual SIM operation as well. So the OnePlus 6 was just perfect in terms of simplicity as well as meeting my network testing requirements ultimately. And that is why I bought it. It is also just a really, really nice phone. The screen on it's amazing, and the speaker while bottom facing does sound really good. And also the dual cameras on the back are good for doing mass photography as well, although I'll cover this in a lot more detail if, or probably when, I do a full review of the phone. Earlier this afternoon, I went into the local area to explore some of Vodafone's network upgrades using the OnePlus 6 together with Jake who strongly encouraged me to get one and he has a OnePlus 5 but I think he would quite like a OnePlus 6 at this point in time because of the additional network functionality as well as it just being a really really compelling flagship device especially considering the price point the device is at. So yeah, um, thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.